In 2026, the world witnessed a surprising development in Southeast Asia's defense landscape the unveiling of the Philippines by Tag X-3 missile, also known as Snare X-3. This system marks a bold leap for the nation, a country historically dependent on foreign defense imports, now making strides into advanced missile technology. Welcome to the Reverend Line, where we break down the most intriguing military technologies, global defense advancements, and cutting-edge weapon systems. Today, we're diving deep into the Bitag X-3, the Philippines' latest attempt to position itself as a modern military force in the Asia-Pacific region. The name Bitag translates to snare or trap in Tagalog a fitting title for a missile system designed specifically for defensive and counter-strike operations. The X-3 denotes the third generation of this project, following secretive prototypes in previous years that were either cancelled or kept under wraps. The Bitag X-3 represents a fusion of coastal defense, air denial, and long-range precision engagement, all in one missile system. But what exactly does it bring to the table, and why is it attracting so much attention? First, let's talk about design and purpose. The Bitag X-3 is not just a traditional missile meant for point strikes or symbolic deterrence. This missile is part of a larger defense doctrine known locally as Lambat Depenza, which translates to net defense. The idea is to create a layered defense network along the Philippine archipelago using the Bitag X-3 to form a trap-like perimeter that can intercept enemy naval or air threats before they even approach Philippine waters. The missile is designed with multi-platform compatibility. It can be launched from land-based mobile trucks, small naval vessels, and fixed coastal installations giving the armed forces of the Philippines flexible deployment options depending on the threat scenario. In terms of technical specifications, the Bitag X-3 missile is a medium to long range system with a reported range of approximately 320 kilometers. This range allows it to cover large portions of the West Philippine Sea, particularly disputed areas where tensions have been rising for years. Its supersonic speed, reaching up to Mach 3.2, gives it both speed and survivability, making interception by enemy defense systems a significant challenge. The propulsion system combines a solid fuel booster for initial launch with a ramjet engine for sustained flight. This hybrid system allows for rapid launch and prolonged cruise capabilities, maintaining high speed throughout its flight path. The guidance system is where the Bitag X-3 starts to show real innovation. It uses a tri-mode seeker, a combination of active radar, passive infrared, and GPS-assisted inertial navigation. This setup gives the missile the ability to track multiple target typers from fast-moving naval vessels to slow but high-value airborne platforms like surveillance drones or enemy bombers. The missile's onboard artificial intelligence, developed with assistance from domestic tech companies and international partnerships, allows it to adjust its trajectory mid flight, avoiding electronic jamming and countermeasures. This makes the Bitag X 3 a formidable asset in electronic warfare environments, something the region is seeing more frequently in contested maritime zones. Now let's talk about the warhead. The Bitag X-3 carries a 300-kilogram high-explosive fragmentation warhead with an intelligent detonation system. Depending on the target profile, the missile can choose between contact detonation, airburst mode for soft targets, or delayed detonation for hardened enemy vessels. This flexibility makes the missile not just a blunt instrument of destruction but a precision tool designed to maximize strategic impact while minimizing unnecessary collateral damage. One of the most unique aspects of the Bitag X-3 program is how it was developed. Unlike larger defense nations that often spend decades and billions of dollars on single weapons programs, the Philippines approached the development of the Bitag X-3 with a lean military innovation model. Partnering with smaller defense startups, 
local universities, and select foreign technology contributors. The Department of National Defense kept costs significantly lower while maintaining innovation speed. Open source coding, rapid prototyping, and iterative testing cycles were implemented, allowing the system to evolve quickly from concept to operational deployment. The missile is also integrated with the Philippines' new digital battlefield management system called AgileNet. This system allows real-time coordination between Bitag X-3 missile batteries, radar stations, drone reconnaissance units, and naval vessels. The result is a unified, rapid response network where the missile can be deployed within minutes of threat detection. This is a major leap for the Philippine defense posture, shifting from reactive strategies to preemptive defense capabilities. International reaction to the Bitag X-3 has been mixed. Some neighboring countries see this development as a stabilizing factor in the region, giving the Philippines the ability to defend its territories without immediately calling for foreign military intervention. Others, particularly nations with territorial ambitions in the South China Sea, view the Bitag X-3 as an escalation that could disrupt the balance of power. Either way, the missile has certainly attracted attention from defense analysts around the globe. Critics have pointed out that while the Bitag X-3 looks impressive on paper, actual battlefield performance remains unproven. Live fire tests have reportedly been successful, but real combat conditions are unpredictable. Maintenance, logistics, and long-term sustainability of such systems are also critical challenges that the Philippines will need to address to ensure the missile remains operational beyond just the initial deployment phase. Another concern is the potential arms race this development could trigger in Southeast Asia. With the Philippines now fielding advanced missile systems, other nations may feel compelled to accelerate their own defense programs. This could lead to a regional missile competition, increasing the risk of miscalculations during already tense standoffs in disputed waters. However, from a purely strategic point of view, the Bitag X-3 serves the critical purpose for the Philippines. It acts as both a deterrent and a tool of national sovereignty, giving the country a voice in regional security dialogues that it previously lacked. For a nation that has often been overlooked in discussions about missile technology, the Bitag X-3 represents not just a weapon, but a symbol of technological progress and national determination. In conclusion, the Bitag X-3, or Snare X-3, missile is not just another entry in the growing list of global missile systems it's a statement from the Philippines to the world. A statement that says, we are ready to defend our shores. We are investing in our own future, and we are no longer just spectators in the theater of modern warfare. Whether this missile will live up to its expectations or encounter unforeseen limitations remains to be seen, but for now, the Bitag X-3 stands as a milestone in Philippine military history. This is the Reverend Line, bringing you the sharpest insights on defense technology and global military evolution. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned for more updates on the world's most advanced weapon systems and military breakthroughs.